If you didn't know already, there is a tendency for the stock market index to go up a little bit before end of the month and it will continue for the first or second or the third day of the next month. In this video, I will show you how can you exploit this edge in the stock and market index and how can you build a portfolio out of this simple strategy. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and thank you for joining me on Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading and everything else in between. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that I post daily on this channel. Also, if you are getting any value out of these videos, please do smash the like button and try to share the video with others as this will help the channel grow. End of month rotation, really it's a phenomenon. It's been there in the market for ages and many hedge funds uh, uses that phenomena. And actually it's because of them, the <laughs> phenomena exist. It's basically there is some uh, structure in the market where because of uh, rotation and inflows and outflows due to taxation or end of the month, uh, people getting money and they posted in the beginning of the month there are many factors that contribute to this but basically we have something in the stock market in general and of course it's very apparent in the stock indexes that the price tend to go up before end of the month a little bit in the beginning of the month and then it continues to whatever it left off in the day 20th or 15th of the month of course being an algorithmic trading channel we have to test this via code and not just by looking at chart so here is the strategy it's very simple if day of the month greater than the i start date this is a variable so we can optimize and the price is above the 200 day moving average this is condition one which is this one the price the close greater than the moving average of 200 then buy next buy at market and if the day of the month, again, another variable to optimize the end date and we have a position, then we sell next part market. Also, we will exit as a protection if the price goes below the 200 day moving average. So this is not a stop loss, but kind of a stop to protect us from uh, severe drawdowns. And I'm doing this in the trade station. So here I have the S&P 500 uh starting from 1991 let's do that and now let me optimize the strategy from 20 to 30 entry and from one to three exit and that should give us 33 uh, uh strategies and let's look at the report sort by test first of all we notice that all of them are profitable so this data includes of course the dot-com bubble the subprime bubble and the COVID crisis these are big crises, and of course we had many 10 percent and 5 percent drawdowns during that period and it's very interesting to notice that all of them are profitable so that means the edge do exist there and there is a huge difference exiting the first day of the month than the second and the third. So keep in mind, the first means we are exiting the open on the second day because TradeStation calculates on the close of the bar and then sends the order, which would be the open on the next bar. But in any case, we see a huge difference between the first, second and the third. So let's pick something here, which uh, I don't know. But the problem is with the 29, there is a huge drop to 30. And there is a big peak at 27. So probably we pick 26. It's a safe bet. And then, of course, we're exiting on the first. So 26 and first. And this is the strategy. So now we can check the performance. And, of course, uh, we know it's profitable. $101 average trade. So we're trading 100 shares fixed on the SPY. So, of course, that should cover slippage in uh, commission. And we're almost 64% win percentage. And uh, let's check periodical return. So, since 1993, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 years, we ended up in the red. And the rest are all profitable. Uh, so, that's really good. Now, of course, the dot-com bubble uh, is 2000, 2001. 
and you can see 2001 we're not trading because we are below the 200 day moving average same thing 2008 we're not trading because we're below 200 day moving average so it's an extremely simple strategy which i love and i hope you, once you watch many of my videos you get to this conclusion that simplicity is really really good because it's the strategy will be very robust you can depend on it you can trade it with confidence now of course this strategy doesn't make a lot of trades because you know it's like almost one trade per month so that's 12 trades per year but still you can combine it uh, with many other instruments and then you have a good portfolio out of the same strategy same code same everything of course here i don't have a profit target and i don't have a stop loss uh, i mean we're exiting if we are below the uh, 200 day moving average but that's uh, you know it's not a stop loss per se it's just a let's kind of consider it a catastrophic stop loss so something like covid happens where the price drops 30 percent within a couple of weeks and then at least you have some kind of protection so now of course let me show you that the strategy does work on many indexes so this is the nasdaq and this is the dow jones and this is the emerging markets germany and brazil india latin america china and it also works on some sectors so for example this is the information sector british pound us dollar euro us dollar euro japanese yen euro swiss franc so this was surprising info not only it works on stock indexes but for some reason it works on many currency pairs also and here i built a uh, portfolio in portfolio maestro here now i am using uh, some position sizing uh, so you can see we are trading roughly 600 100 it, de it depends so there is a, a kind of position sizing it's very simple position sizing but you can see here i have about uh, i think 15 16 markets and some of them are sectors retail sector and so on and they are all extremely profitable and this is the portfolio performance and we have a huge drawdown here and another one here uh, but still overall you make uh, <laughs> lots of money <laughs> periodical return since 92 so the green is uh, negative years so one two three five so we have 12 years uh, negative uh, out of uh, 30 years but still we're making a uh, lots of money and some years we are doubling our money this one 2006 2007 we double up and lately 21 we're almost doubling up still we are in uh, beginning of october right now as promised great strategy very simple exploiting a phenomena in the market uh, it's it's been there for many years now and probably even more but you know we don't have data going back uh, further and it basically exploit two things in the usually in the stock indexes which is first one usually stock index have a tendency to go up the second one is there is inflows and outflows that cause the market uh, sometimes it's called window dressing for mutual funds that cause the market to go up uh, at the close to the end of the month till the spillover till the beginning of the next month and we are like five days spending five days only in the market and getting this uh, huge return so that's extremely good and of course you can combine it with other uh, strategies that exploit other tendencies before the end of the month so you can have even a better portfolio of course if you have any questions or any comments please do so below the video and i'll be more than happy to answer you also if you want to be part of my inner circle to receive trading signal monthly trading signal and seasonal portfolio for stocks alongside the weekly live question and answer then you are most welcome to join our group through the patreon link down below and don't forget to check out all the discount offers at no cost to you again through the links down below in the description of the video as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe 
and I'll see you soon.